Oh, I think the front of it's armored. Oh, I'm almost positive, in fact. What is up, the world? up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things awashed ashore on a desert island in this new game windbound this video is sponsored by deep silver and windbound thank you guys for coming to hang out with me make sure if you want to check this game out there's a link in the description where you can check out windbound right now the Lost Islands Chapter 1. So, in the last episode, we kind of learned a lot about what was going on. We learned a lot about how stamina works. We learned a lot about how the sling works. We learned a lot about how dying works in this procedurally generated adventure. And today, we're going to check out some more stuff. So, one of the things that I did notice that I didn't talk about before is that when you are swimming, your stamina is always going down. And not swimming or being stationary while floating does not help you. So the boat is super important in this game. You have to have the boat. You're going to need that in order to move around. Uh, so last time we got some stuff and things, but one of the things we're running really low on right now is inventory space. We need one palm frond and two of these thick grass ropes. Oh, no, they're called grass ropes, pardon me, in order to make this guy, which is uh, the palm bag, which gives us seven additional inventory slots. So that's something that we're going to have to take a look at for sure. Uh, but before we move on, we're going to need the canoe. That's going to be the number one thing. Uh, so inside of here, we need two grass ropes in order to make that happen. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the grass ropes. Let's make two grass ropes right now. And it looks like our inventory is full. So what we're going to have to do is pop over here and then right click, I think, to drop those guys and then pick up our grass ropes. Yep. Uh, dust yourself off. Let's go ahead and grab that and that guy. And let's head over this way. Keeping an eye on our stamina because I am really bad about utilizing all my stamina or not using all my stamina or, yeah, using too much stamina. All right. Let's pop over here. Oh, it looks like there's another area here where there's possibly a Nautilus shell. Uh, one of the keys. And I think if I remember correctly, I think we needed three of these. All right, so over in this area, now we have everything that we need in order to make the canoe. Let's pop inside of here and, uh, no, where is it? Boat accessories, boats right there. Oh, we need one more thick grass. Crap, we used it up by making our rope. So we could just pop back over here and grab one of these guys. There we go. Now we have the thick grass, right? Yeah, we were able to pick it up. All right, so now we can make our canoe. Dude, is that a fish? <gasps> Seriously? Dude, shore skipper. I killed it. Get wrecked. Oh, I can't interact. Okay, hold on. Maybe when we make the boat. Let's make the boat right there. All right. I've never, I haven't never. I have got a fish before. Is it still there? Oh, did we miss it? I feel like we might have missed it. It might have despawned. I'm eeing all over the place here and I don't see it. There's more fish out there. You probably can make a fish rod eventually. But let's pop over here and take a look and see. Do we have another Nautilus shell in this area? Oh, weird. Okay, so we got a key here or something in the first episode. It looks like this is no longer here. Uh, and there is something up over in that area right there. So let's take a look here real quick and see. Our inventory has a couple of slots open. We said we wanted to do what make the bag. That requires palm fronds. Now, I don't think I see any here on this island. The fronds are not necessarily from trees. They do grow kind of on the ground. Let me see if we can get... Uh, do we even need this guy? He'll, he'll give us... He, uh, pardon me, gives us feathers, I think. Interact. We're going to get meat from him, too. But I don't, I'm not sure if we even care about that because we can't cook it. And last time when I ate meat, it gave me a really weird effect. So I'm not sure if that's something that we want to even deal with. Um, let's grab a couple of these mushrooms. So we have those for later if we need a little bit of food. And there was another animal on this island, but I'm not super concerned about that guy right now. What I want to do is move over to that and see about some of these Nautilus shells. Okay, so we did just lose a little bit of total stamina pool. And if we hit three and then click that rust cap, there we go. That'll go up a little bit. Nice. So what we got to do now is get back onto our boat and make our way over here. Get to the top of that tower. Whoa, careful there, bud. Let's row. We'll turn this guy. Get to the top of this tower. And I think on top of there, we will see the Nautilus shell we're looking for. I got a slip tip for you when you're climbing these guys. Don't even bother with holding shift. Just slowly walk up and hold forward. You don't even need to jump. Real easy to get to the top. All right. So we got one of these Nautilus keys. It's going to, yeah, it's going to dematerialize and suction into our necklace and provide us with super amazing key powers. The gyre widens. The hunter ensnares her prey. So there's one of three. This happened to us before. 
I'm interested to see what happens when we get three of these guys. All right, so a beautifully adorned shell resonates with a mysterious power, an arcane relic from a bygone era. All right, so we got that guy right there. Now, it looks like there might be another tower over there, and I can't see. There's a small island right there, and there's another tower over there. Let's very carefully head down here. You gotta be very, very careful. It's uh, interesting how the view, oh no, oh my God. Oh, I'm okay, I'm all right. So it looks like uh, your views kind of change sometime. The the way that, you know what I mean? When you're looking around, your view, your camera view just automatically changes. So it doesn't look like there's any food or anything over here that we want. I want to head over to that island right there. Let's push this guy onto the water. Whoa, get on top. Let's go ahead and row with our super oar. Let's turn around a little bit of a hard to starboard. Let's head over to this guy and see what's on this island. All right, it looks like there's some coral heads around here. I'm going to steer clear of those. I don't know if our boat has durability or not, but I'm I'm not going to run into any of those guys. I wonder if running into the shore hurts you. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe we can look at this here in a second. I don't think this will, though. Let's go like so. Come ashore. Is there a way I could see the boat durability? Doesn't look like it. All right. So over here, let's take a look and see what we got going on. Oh, I think these are sticks. Dude, and that's a palm frond right there. Let's grab this guy. All right, sweet. So we got, oh, yeah, we got a stick. And then do we have room for these fronds? What are, I can't even remember what we needed this for. Now, let's go ahead and pop inside of here again. Uh, what did we want to do? Is it that guy? Oh, the sail. Grass mast. One grass rope. Oh, you guys, we can do this. We need some thick grass. All right, hold on. Let's grab this guy. Oh, we can't. We don't even remember our inventory. What can we drop? Sticks, feathers. Wait, what? Bleak fronds. Palm fronds. One rust cap. That's our grass sling. You know what? I don't really feel like I'm going to use that very much. I'm, I haven't had a lot of luck with the grass sling. Let's drop that guy. Let's grab the thick grass. And then I think we're going to get a couple of these. Right there. We got to make some rope. So we'll craft up our rope. And then we're going to need two more thick grass. Let me see. There's one right in front of me. Uh, let's grab a couple of these guys over here. Grab this guy. Wait, I can't hold it. Oh, because I have rope in my inventory now. Well, let's eat. So we'll eat our rust cap. That'll help us. Oh, you know what we're going to need to make, too? we got to make the bag, man. Hopefully we could... Wait, maybe we should make the bag before we make the sail. What do we need in order to make this guy? Five palm fronds and grass rope. You know what? I'm going to make another grass rope. I'm going to make the bag first. Because I need more inventory slots really bad. So let's make one more of these. Hopefully, we can do both things. Let's go ahead and craft up this palm bag. Seven additional inventory slots. Oh, feels good. All right, let's grab this guy next. And let's take a look again at what we're going to need in order to make the sail. So, we just need one grass rope and two thick grass. I think everything else we're good. So, we can grab that guy. Craft this up right here like so. And now we need two thick grass. Dust yourself off. All right, let's grab, let's grab this thick grass. And maybe this guy over here. Being very cautious about our stamina, because I'm terrible about that. All right, I'm also going to grab as many of these fronds as I can. Some islands have resources and some do not. Uh, fronds being one of the things that it seems to be hard to find. Harder to find. And sticks, too. All right, let's pop inside of here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Bam. Craft it. Nice! You guys, we got a sail! Very, very cool. All right, I'm very excited to see how the sailing mechanics work. So we got to make our way on top of there. But also, as I said, I want to grab some resources before we go. I'm going to grab some sticks. I'm going to grab some fronds. I'm going to climb to the top of that guy over there. All righty, up we go. Another one of the shells we can interact with. Ah. <sighs> The shell spirits of the sea give us life. Our hearts beat in harmony. Two of the shells. And then we can skip that guy. All right. So sweet. So we got those guys going over there. Now, this wasn't necessarily the easiest. The easiest one of these to traverse. Every one of them is a little bit different. So let's come over this way like so. Now, there's a small island right here. But what I want to do next with you guys is I'm going to push this guy out. I want to go ahead and get on. And I want to see how the sailing mechanics work in this game. Okay. We want to be really careful not to hit anything. Okay, we push forward, our sail goes up. What does it say there? Tighten and loosen. Oh, neat! Hold on, let me see here. Oh, you're kidding me, man. So we can see where this, where the wind is. Don't hit the coral, don't hit that. I don't, I don't wanna hit, oh, no, 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 don't hit it, don't hit it. We gotta be careful not to hit anything. 
So it looks like the sail, does the sailing mechanics actually, do they actually work? If we sail into the wind, we heave to here. We're actually, we are still moving a little bit. Now, if I go like, give it like that, it starts to heal over. You can sail into the wind. What if we loosen this up a little bit? Loosen? Oh, it's kind of being weird. I'm trying to loosen right now. Oh, does it like automatically? It automatically kind of does that. But what if we tighten it? There, look at it. it heals us over and everything. So what if we sail straight downwind? So we still have a little bit of speed, but what if we loosen? There we go. Dude, that's so cool. It's like real sailing. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, that's so neat. All right, let's come in for a landing over here. What's this guy? Oh, and there's another island straight ahead I'm looking at. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, cool superpowers. You've been blessed with increased stamina. Oh, baby! That is neat. So you got to really search around. Okay, well, we need to push you. I thought I said push. Let's push that guy out. Let's get on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ca caution. Careful. Let's go ahead and sail. Now, if I remember correctly... Oh, there's a little fish right there. There was that guy, that guy, and there was another tower over here. It, I don't think it was this island. And there's something big over to our port side there. But what I want to do is head down this direction. I probably need to just go to that other island that had the tower. We need three of those Nautilus shells. It kind of wants me to go here, too. Yeah, there's the other island right there. But I think there was another tower. There was a fourth island or fifth there's one two three four and there was another guy that was like back over this direction so i think i'm gonna head to that island we can't see right now and see if i can find another one of the nautilus shells whoa there's some bad uh, bad hombres over here for sure all right we're coming in for a landing like so all right so this is the other island looks like they're sleeping right now it looks like there's a couple of sticks over here i wonder if i'll wake them up if i gather these sticks Oh, yep, yep, definitely will. Those guys aren't to be messed with. We do not have the proper weapons yet. We're not even going to mess with those guys. I apologize. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the music is so funny. There's a lot of guys over here. I just want to climb on the top of this tower here and get this last shell. I'm not interested in messing with any of these guys yet. I'm going to wait. I don't think we've unlocked bows or anything like that yet. Weapons right here. No, we have bone arrows and we have that sling, but we found it to be the sling was a little bit hard to use. So let's just pop up here. So some of these are a little bit tricky. Check this out, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hardcore parkour. All right, sweet. Our last Nautilus shell. And I think we can go ahead and skip. All right, sweet. So we got all three of those guys now. One, two, and three right above me. Now, I... I'm trying to see if I can see islands. I think I saw another small island, but there was that larger one that was on our way back. We definitely want to check that out, too. I don't know if I'm going to worry too much about sticks or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of try to... I'm just going to make my way over here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh, dude. Is that like bananas? No, they're just palm fronds. Are they coming at me, bro? Oh, dude. They are coming at me, bro. I kind of wanted to explore a little bit, but I'm slightly terrified right now. Okay, maybe we just set off. Oh, our stamina. We got pro stamina problems. Push. Climb on. Sail. All right. Oh, there's something else over there. Do we want to go check that guy out? We got to be careful. Uh Oh, Titan. There we go. We got to be a little bit careful of the coral around in this area. There's definitely something over here, though. Wait, wait, wait. That. Oh, careful, careful. Okay, now I see where we're going. So, that's the big island we saw we haven't gone to yet. Off of our starboard side, I thought there's a little teeny island all the way over there. You see it? That might be more health or stamina or something like that. Let's head over this way first. Then I want to go back to that big island. Then we're going to go to that place. I haven't done a ton of sailing. I've done... I've gone sailing one time. But I've watched a lot of sailing videos. The sailing in this is pretty realistic. <laughs> For a video game. Like, you heal over, as you come up a swell, you pull to your, like, windward side, and then as you go down, you move to your leeward side. Like, it's really interesting. It's quite realistic. 
Uh, I was wondering if maybe over here on the small island there would be another, like, health bonus or something? Or stamina bonus? Let's see here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, there's some jars. All right. Oh, we just got some bone arrows. Some sea shards. And some sea shards. Okay, so there wasn't. You know how we found that one stamina guy? I thought, oh, dude, that thing looks amazing. I thought maybe we would find a health one over here, but that doesn't look like that's the case. So now we got to get over to that big island. I don't see anything else around here that we could go and do. So, nope, we're trying to push there, buddy. We're trying to push. Just want to push. E. E, push. There we go. Push that guy out. Push you again. Whoa! A little bit extra pushing. <laughs> Sail. All right. Head around to starboard here, and let's see how the sail is going to work for us right now. All right, so we're sailing almost... Oh, dude, we're beating right into it. We are going to have to tack. All right, hold on a second here. I'm about as tight as we can go. Maybe like so. And then like this. All right, cool, man. So because the wind is kind of, you know what I mean, coming out of the side. Oh, this looks like we'll actually be able to go straight that way. We're not going to have to tack. Yeah, this will bring us over to the island. Very, very cool. The sailing mechanic. I'm just, I'm just tickled by this. It's so, so much fun, man. So I slowed down a little bit coming in just because I don't want to hit anything. I'm trying to be really careful about how this works. But this big island looks like it's got a lot of stuff and things on it. Let's pop over here and see what we got going on. So there's definitely some animals around here. It's coming for landing. I can't tell if this is damaged or not. There is a repair tool we could build. Look at that place, man. That island looks amazing. Holy screenshot right there, Batman. Can we zoom in? No, we can't. All right, so let's pop over here. I think I saw, well, there's some fronds. Let's grab this guy. Grab some frond action. And then there's these areas over here that have these different potteries. On nights when the star shines brightest, the wind is low. The wraps that stand tall atop the feasting tables and take turns reciting epic poems. Okay, bone arrows. Some shards, some shards. Some shards. You kind of got to look around. This pottery is sometimes kind of hard to see. Can we duck inside of here? Doesn't look like there's anything over inside of there. Some of the pottery is stuck, uh, stuck hidden even inside of the grass. So you have to be pretty good about searching around for stuff. I don't see anything over here. Oh, we can't. I see one in there, but I can't duck in. I think I can ooh, jump in. No, duck in. There's one inside of there. We got to get it, man. How do we get inside of there? Oh, man. All right, hold on. Let's pop over here. Metal-tipped arrows. Sturdy metal arrows are able to pierce the hardest of shells and carapaces. Interesting. We might have to go back and see if I can get that other jar. See, I climbed up on this, but for some reason, I can't quite get up on that other one. I want to get in there pretty bad. He's done it. I'm in. Storm's Eye Gem. This gem crackles with tiny arcs of lightning. If we hope to tame the Tempest, we must learn to bottle lightning. New recipe, Tempest Bow. Whoa, all right, we got a new thing. Can we get out? <laughs> Can I duck out of here? No, it won't let me duck out. All right, there we go, and we're out. All right, so Tempest Bow. Dude, I'm very excited. What do we need? Grass rope, can I make that right now? No, I need more tall grass. Okay, so uh, also our stamina is really, really low. We could use some food right now. I don't see any berries around here. The tall grass is what we're on about. Let's grab that guy. All right, we need another one. Be careful with your stamina, Slip. Now, I wonder if fronds, I wonder how high they stack. So we have six now. Let me take a look here and see. That's thick grass. So they stack to more than six. This is good news. There's some berries over there. Let's grab these berries right now. Dude, I need this food in me. Eat. Oh, not too much. All right, that guy like so. Now we can pop inside of here, make the grass rope. Bam, and then the Tempest arrow, or the Tempest bow, pardon me. Charged arrows fired from this bow will be imbued with deadly lightning and deal extra damage to nearby targets over time. Arrows fired from this bow have reduced base damage. So it's a dot. It's a damage over time effect. Very, very cool. So now if we hit one, we can choose the bow. 
Oh, you guys, we're going to be able to get some stuff and things done now. All right, hold on. Let's grab some grass. Let's make sure we're gra gathering as we go. These guys I saw before, this is uh, requires us to have the shovel to dig it. We can't do that yet. Um, and we really need, like, the axe as well. Let's kind of head over this direction. And food. I'm running really low on stamina, man. I got to be super careful about that. I'm so bad about keeping my shift button held down. All right, up around over here. What do we got? I thought I saw some bad hombres around here. There he is. There he is. Oh, you guys. This guy's going down. This guy's going down now that we got the bow, I hope. <laughs> All right, let's grab a stick. Let's get some gathering done while we're here. Oh, there's a couple bad hombres over there. All right, so sticks. Okay, sticks for days. Now, oh, hello, little buddy. Let's eat. A little bit more stamina. A little bit more stamina. What do we got over here? Oh, we're going to need the hammer to mine that. All right, so inside of here, let's take a look. What do we need in order to craft arrows? Sticks. So let's just go ahead and craft up a bunch of arrows. Rudimentary arrows crafted from sharpened sticks. Let's craft up a little bit more. A little bit more. And a little bit more. All right, we're good to go. Next order of business. Can we cheese this guy like on a rock or something? Is what I'm wondering. If we pop up over this way. Let's get on top of this rock. Pretty far away. I don't know if I can make this shot. Oh, you're kidding me, man! No, I just... Oh, man, I just lost one of my arrows. Why did he... What a... You st what a dumb... Friggin... Bam, hit him. Oh, it didn't do that much damage. Oh, I'm gonna try to cheese him. Oh, dude, he's running away again. So I don't think there's a way. Oh, okay, okay. So if you hold right click to aim and then hold left click to charge, if you let off of right click, it doesn't use your arrow up. Dude, why didn't he come over here? And I'm feeling like maybe he... Is he regain HPs? No, he doesn't. Dude, get wrecked. Ah, oh, swing and a miss. Careful of your stamina. Dude, he can't get to me, so he knows. He knows. Oh, real quick, real quick. Let me eat this. Let me eat this, please. Eat, eat, eat that. Eat that. Oh, he put it in his Damn it, all the hell. Oh, I think the front of it's armored. Oh, I'm almost positive, in fact. Oh, that didn't do that much damage either. Hold on. We have more arrows, don't we? Can we select a better one? There's the bone arrows, the basic arrows, the metal tipped. I only have three. I want to save my metal tipped arrows. Let's use the bone arrow. Oh, we can actually. Okay, let's go. Yo, right in the cloaca, the most vulnerable spot. Nice, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. It's down, it's down, it's down. Suck it, Razorback. Dude, we got two down. Oh my god. So much easier than the sling. <laughs> Let's interact with this guy. Let's see what we get. So it looks like we might get our arrows back. Macabre, but bones are a lightweight material with a good balance of strength and durability. Okay. We got that. We got skin. Unrefined skin from an animal with some work could become useful material. So we can make leather probably. There's our raw meat. We don't want to eat that without cooking it. You can eat the meat without cooking it, but it gives you like the wobblies. All right. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so four basic arrows, gore horn crest. Sturdy horn could dish out a lot of damage. We got bone arrows and large meat. Very, very cool. You guys, so much cool stuff from all this stuff. Uh, I think we can just, yeah, spear this guy. He'll give us one little small meat and some feathers. So let's grab those right there. All right, nice. So inside of here, there's our bone, oh, the bone tip spear. We need leather in order to make that happen. Can we make leather? Uh, there's those guys. This is for sailing. That's repairing and dismantling. There's the anchor, the fire. So we need rocks for this and a stick. We could make a fire and actually goes on the boat. And probably we could cook food. There's a grass basket we can place on the boat too. But the boat doesn't have a lot of room. Um, all right. So tools over here. The gore horn crest, a stick and thick grass is going to allow us to make the hammer. Dude, we need food so bad. Maybe we should focus on the fire first. I'm wondering also, there might be another uh, mushroom over here. 
there's sometimes more than one on these trees. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so I feel like fire is the thing we need to work on. Let's talk about boat accessories, that guy. We need a stick and two rocks. The rocks I can find, but the stick might be tough. I think I've already used them all, making my <laughs> making those damn arrows. So we might be out of sticks. Jeez Louise. And I don't think we can make the hammer either because we're out of sticks. The thick grass we could find, but the sticks we do not have. All right. Uh, and then what about the axe? If you want to do that, that could possibly help us get sticks. The axe requires leather, which we don't know how to make yet. And then sticks and gloom harrow jaw, which we definitely haven't found. It looks like it's getting quite dark over here. All right. So being ridiculously careful, uh, again, with our stamina. I'm going to take a look around for food. I guess we could eat the meat. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, we have a mushroom too. If we go three, let's eat the mushroom. All right, that was very, very helpful. Now, what I want to do is just double check here. What about this? I know the small meat does. Let's eat the big meat. Okay, that makes us wobbly. Oh, but it gave us all of our stamina back. It gives us the wobbles for a few seconds there. That is super duper weird. So as long as we don't run now, our maximum stamina pool should go up. All right, sweet. So we don't really have the things we need in order to get anything else done on this island. No sticks. We don't have the ability to get the gloom jaw thing. Uh, so what we got to do now, I think, is head over to that guy. Where's my boat at? Ah, uh, on the water we go over to whatever this place is. This amazing area. Dude, look how good that looks. That is so neat. Now, we got to be really careful about the coral. Okay, I see a one coral head over inside of there. I'm going to come a little to port. There's a couple of rocks underwater here. Uh, uh, let's go over this way, I think. This will be our safest way to do. You can actually lower the sail a little bit, too, to slow down if you want to. All right, land ahoy. Let's go ahead and pop up over this way, being careful of our stamina. Stamina management is a big part of this game. <laughs> what is this place, man? All right, inside of here. Oh, Nito Toledo. Oh, and it looks like our view has changed. Interesting. Okay, it's a little bit tough to kind of tell where I am and where I'm going. Nah, it's all right. It's all right. All right, so let's interact with this guy. I'm assuming another bridge comes. Oh, you know what? These are the three Nautilus shells, aren't they? These are the three Nautilus shells that you needed to get to get up to the top of whatever this is going to be. Okay. Bridge numero three. And up we go here. I just keep, I just have my eyeball on the stamina bar all the time. <laughs> That's all I see. What the crap? Oh man, this is neat. What is this? Ooh. Uh? Oh, put your necklace in there. Yeah. It's the key. <gasps> Whoa. It looks like people worshiping the shell that might also be the sun. And the shell is also an island or a boat maybe? Oh, it's an animal maybe. It looks kind of like a jellyfish. It's leading them somewhere maybe downwind. The first crossing, rejection. What? Rejection? What does that mean? Why am I rejected? I don't want to be rejected. The first crossing, rejection. There's a lot of mystery here. I'm. Oh, I wonder if each one of these, one, two, three, four, five, is like a part of the story? Let's pop up over here. Oh, you're kidding me, man. What do we got going on here? Okay, we're sailing. 
small raw meat has degraded. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, oh, I can't three right now. All right. We've got to see what's going on with this. What is this? Yeah, we couldn't eat those. I couldn't uh, hit the three button. I don't know if you can inventory right now. We might have been able to do that. Whoa, what are you doing? No! Boat, come back. I didn't know I could, like, jump off. Sail. It looks like this is some sort of boss battle. I hope I didn't hurt my boat. Whoa, the seas are really large. Did you see that huge boss too? I don't know what that was. All right, everything seems okay right now. The music has me really worried, but I feel like I'm doing all right. Oh, oh. Oh, weird. That big wave slowed us down a ton. Whoa, we're surfing, baby. Woo! Gotta be careful of where there are some stones underneath the waves. See how much you slow down? That is so cool. So I wonder if this is just like almost an obstacle parkour part of the game. We're doing really good. I'm just really paying attention to everything that's happening. So concerned. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Oh, there's coral. There's coral. Careful. That stuff will probably wreck our boat. I'm almost... No! I'm almost positive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 we gotta thread the needle. We gotta thread the needle. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. Oh, I made it. I have no idea if they actually hurt your boat or not, but I'm assuming that they do. Oh, this is excellent. So cool. What do you got over here for me? Make offering. Ancestral bow. Gordel's fortitude. Great Gordel lined her belly with sand to swallow Ulkata, the giant jellyfish, whole and unharmed. You're probably not quite at that level, but bad mushrooms aren't going to do much harm. The effect of poisons are greatly reduced. Or the ancestral bow, a gift from the gods. This stout bow is strung with a strand of silver moonlight, easy to knock and ever taut. Start with ancestral bow that never breaks. Oh, you guys, I'm getting that one. Make an offering of 500 sea shards. Yes. Do we have that? We're good. This is so cool. I'm like speechless. I'm just enjoying it. Okay. So now we have the ancestral bow. Can we make another offering? Okay, we can only get one of the things. What's this guy over here? Bestow blessing. A gift from the gods, the stout. Flex. A gift from the gods. Yeah, we've read that a couple times now. All right, so we have the ancestral bow now. Do we have our other bow still too? So we still have the tempest bow, but now we have... Oh, does it? Is it not here? We might need to... Oh, no, that's the ancestral bow right there. There we go. Interesting. Oh, so at least it looks like we need to pop back over here and sail through. Huh. All right, let's head around. Tighten. Tighten the sails up a little bit there so we can make it upwind a bit. All right, let's head through. What happens when you head through this?
Oh, man! The Great Famine, Chapter 2. You're kidding me! All right, so now we're on to the next chapter. And there's an island over here, you guys, this game. I'm very excited about it. Make sure if you like this video, don't forget, show your support, ha hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much to Deep Silver and Windbound for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the game, there's a link in the description where you can click it. Check this game out. I can't wait to play chapter two. More to come in the future. Thank you guys so much for all your support and thanks for watching. And may the stuff of things be with you.